Hey everybody, I thought it might be beneficial to do a walkthrough video to explain how you pair the dog training collar to the remote control for the dual function uh, pet fence and dog training system made by the company My Pet Command. The one thing I'll mention before I get started is this company makes a couple different training collar options for dogs. They make a long range training collar, they make a GPS training collar. This video is just for the dual function training collar. Uh, the reason being, uh, the other ones use a different remote control. You'll know that you've got the right remote control because this one is blue and that's the only one that uh, is blue out of all of their training collars. So again, this is for the dual function dog training and fence system collar by My Pet Command. So the reason I wanted to do this video is if you buy the dual training collar and uh, fence system, it comes with the collar and it comes with the remote and they should be automatically paired together. But you can also buy just additional collars that you can pair with the same remote control if you've got multiple dogs. You don't have to buy the whole, sy the whole system itself. Just buy an extra collar, pair it to your remote, and you've got one remote control you can use for multiple dogs. And I'm going to show you how to, how to do all that stuff. So when you buy the extra collar, all you're going to do is you're going to press and hold the power button. And it should come to you automatically unpaired. And the way you can tell it's unpaired, as you can see, there's a blinking green light that's rapidly blinking nonstop. That means that this collar is not paired to any remote control at the moment. All I'm going to do to pair it is I'm going to turn on my remote control. I'm going to press and hold the plus button and the lightning bolt. And I'm going to hold them down. And you can see that the controller starts basically, the remote starts basically going through all of these numbers. All I have to do is pick what dog it is I want to pair it with and make sure I've got the collar near me. Uh, the one thing I should mention is you never want to have more than one collar on at the same time because it doesn't know which collar it's reading if it's in pairing mode. So I'm going to go ahead and choose dog number three. We've got three different options down here. Dog number one, dog number two, dog number three. Well, I've already got dog number one. I'm going to pair this to dog number three. All I'm going to do is press and hold the three. And you'll hear that five beep. That tells me that it's um, paired. I'm going to get out of pairing mode by doing the same thing, pressing the plus and the lightning bolt. And I can see by looking at the collar that it's slowly blinking green now, and it's a single blink when it does. That tells me that this collar is paired and it's in dual mode, which means it's for dog training and for wireless fence. To test it, these are my different dog options, dog number one, dog number two, dog number three. If I go to dog number one, now press and hold the test button, which is the bell, it does nothing. If I go to dog number two, press and hold the bell, it does nothing. But if I go to dog number three, which is what I paired under, press and hold the bell, it makes that beeping noise, it tells me that this collar is reading dog number three from this remote control. So we've got it paired. We don't have to do anything now. The only thing I can do is I'm on dog number three. I can set my shock value and uh, do whatever trainings I want for this dog once he's got the collar on. So that's how you pair it, pretty easy. Let's say for some reason you need to unpair it. Maybe you get a collar that's um, already paired or maybe you're just looking to switch what dog number it is, something like that. I'll walk you through the same process. The only thing with unpairing that's a little bit tricky is this is a dual purpose collar. You can see that it's blinking a slow green every five seconds, which means it's in dual mode. If I press and hold this, as soon as I see the red light and I let go, every five seconds it blinks a double green. That means it's in just fence mode. And because this is a dual purpose collar, you have to know which mode you're in because you can only unpair the collar if it's in dual mode. So right now where it's only in fence mode, I can't unpair the collar. The reason for that is when you're in fence mode, it's not using the remote control at all. All it's using is the barrier of the fence. So what I want to do is make sure that my collar is in dual mode. I'm going to press and hold the power button. As soon as I see the green, uh, the red light, I let go of it and it should switch me back to dual mode. And it is. That's what the single slow green um, light indicates. So to unpair it, all we're going to do is make sure that the collar is near the bell button and the lightning bolt. I'm going to press and hold them until I start seeing all the numbers going through like before. And all I'm going to do is press and hold one of the buttons down here, one, two, or three. And you can see once I did that, 
Now the collar is back to being unpaired. To finish, I gotta do the same thing. I gotta get out of pairing mode, so I'm gonna press the bell and the lightning bolt hold them down. Now my remote control is back out of pairing mode. It's in regular mode. I've got a collar that's no longer paired and I'm good to go. So that's a quick demonstration video and at this point. You can press and hold the power button to turn off your remote. You can press and hold the power button to turn off your collar until you're ready to pair it. And again, to pair it, you would just follow the first procedures I showed you. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to pair and unpair the dual purpose remote control dog collar from my pet command. Let me know if you got any questions. Thanks.